So today I'm going to be talking about what's in my camera bag for traveling for 2023. Hello Epic People, Mike here and today it's going to be a what's in my camera bag for 2023 because I'm actually going on a trip overseas tomorrow so why not make a what's in my travel bag video. So as you can see this is like the main thing that I'm going to be taking with me. But there's a whole bunch of more on the side, like all the crap, like wires and stuff like that, which is a little bit more not so interesting. So I'll probably begin with that. So first, I have to get this thing into one side. Everything just... So this is the backpack by Brevity and it's called The Jumper. And one of the main reasons that I'm taking this backpack um, is because it's not as big as my, my other Peter McKinnon bag or my, uh, what's the other one? I forgot. Anyway, those other big backpack. And when I'm traveling, especially with my family, I would like to travel light and small as possible. So even though the Brevity backpack looks small, it can actually hold a lot of things and you guys are about to see how much stuff that I'm going to be shoving it in this backpack. So another thing, so this is a capture clip by Peak Design. This is very useful if you're using a um, Arca Swiss plate. You can just basically clip it on and clip it off whenever you need your camera. So this comes in very handy uh, when you're just traveling with the backpack. So okay, we're ready. So let's do the not so interesting part first. So let's start with the laptop that I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be taking the first generation MacBook Air. Um, I really don't like editing on the fly and you know, outside of my office, room, studio, whatever you want to call it. But I basically take the computer just to back up the files that I uh, take at the remote location or a different location when I travel. So. MacBook Air goes into the sleeve down here. And this is just a note. It says just a note in Korean. And it's just for, like, you know, writing down like certain ideas and whatever. And it goes, so it goes into the same compartment as the laptop. And we'll close that down. And here is a not so tech pouch. It was just a pouch that I got when I bought the Feel World monitor and which is a pretty perfect case. And inside, I just have a bunch of cables, you know, just like adapter that could take SD card, different USBs, phone charger cable. This is like a universal adapter for um, plugging into the wall for different countries. Some other USB-C cables and such, and that's about it. And inside here, what I put in is my GoPro. You can barely see it, but this is actually a GoPro. The hideous thing that you see on top of this um, GoPro is like a sponge that covers the whole body. This basically acts as a, like a windshield where you see it on like the video microphones. So I just got this like super cheap on AliExpress. So I know it's hideous, but it helps with the voice if I ever have to shoot any POVs. And also it comes useful because the sides are sponge and like, you know, you can basically shove it in like small places and it will hold onto that place. So this thing goes into quote unquote tech pouch. <coughs> And this thing goes into the top portion of the bag. Yep, so I put it in the top. And then on the top, here is the third party chest mount that I'm gonna be using for um, GoPro if I ever going to be using it. That also goes into the top section of the bag. And another thing is I take around my AirPods just in case I need it for, you know, editing and stuff like that. And this is an AirTag just in case if I lose my stuff, I will know where it is or my backpack or whatever. This is like just in case. So that goes on to the zipper inside of the bag. 
So on the front zipper, where they have these mesh pockets, what I put in is, this is a tool by Small Rig. This thing just has everything that I need in order to work on my, any of my camera related stuff. So this thing goes on here. And battery, additional Fuji battery, because I'll be taking my Fuji. And I don't really take that many um, batteries because these days the batteries are lasting pretty long. So I just keep that. Here are my SSD and um, external hard drive um, for backing up the stuff. Um, usually every day when I come back uh, from whatever that I was shooting, I'll back it up onto this um, bigger hard drive. And then I'll also back it up on this, what is it, Samsung T7. And then I'll basically edit off this. So these two are basically a must. So I'll just put it in here. So now the main part, which is the compartment where all the camera related stuff goes in. So let's start with my main camera, which is the Fuji X-T5. Um, the main reason, even though I do have Sony system, I most of the time want to travel light. So APS-C is fine uh, because I'm not shooting anything like crazy and no like client work or anything. And when that's the case, I just take my Fuji X-T5 with me. Before I put this in, I have to put on a lens. So the first lens that I'm going to be taking, which is my favorite lens, is the 33 millimeter 1.4, which is super sharp, very fast at 1.4 aperture. So this is basically going to be my lens that I'm going to be using in low light and also just uh, regular walking around uh, street photography related stuff or portraits and everything. So this is actually going to be on my camera. So this is going to go into the main compartment. So the next lens that I'm going to be taking is a zoom lens, which is a Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter f 2.8. And those of you who know me, I'm a very anti third party lens person. So I usually just get the native lenses. But ever since I tried this Sigma lens first, it's just a game changer. It's affordable, it's fast, it's sharp, and it's small, light. I started buying Sigma lenses, and this thing is just awesome. So this is gonna go into place right here. And I, I like to take one zoom lens just in case if I need the versatility, because it will go from wide to, you know, close or a little bit of a telephoto. So if I need any wide shot, the 18 millimeter on my um, zoom lens will basically do the job. And the third lens that I'm gonna be taking, I usually don't take this focal length a lot unless I have, I know that I'm gonna be shooting like portrait, but this is the Sigma 56 millimeter 1.4. This lens is also super sharp, super light, super affordable, probably one of the bang for the buck. And I'm really liking the Sigma lenses these days. So, because it doesn't really weigh that much and I have some space on my uh, backpack. So I'm gonna be taking this with me on this trip. And this thing is gonna go right in the middle. Okay, so that's the main camera system, the Fuji system that I'm gonna be taking. And for a B cam, I'll be taking my trusted Sony ZV-1. I know, I know this is not a Fuji camera, but this camera is so versatile. Like you can shoot great photos and the video capability is awesome. And it also has a zoom lens, built-in ND filter, great mic. So to be honest, if I'm not doing anything crazy, this basically can do everything, but since you know, I like shooting with Fuji, I'm taking it. And this is basically going to be a B cam if I ever need to. Such a nice camera. And this is gonna go right here. So now I'm gonna be showing you the filters that I'm gonna be taking. Um, 
first one is the Promis 1 8 um, I usually don't use Promis filters during the day because it seems like it kind of has too much halation whenever I'm shooting during the day. But for nighttime, I do prefer using Promis because it gives you that little bit more, I don't know, I like that halation, that bloom highlight look. So I use this during the nighttime. And this goes on the top. And this is a variable ND filter which is like a sunglass for your camera. And for because I'm a hybrid shooter, I need this when I'm shooting video. I really don't like using variable ND because it's such a hassle. I gotta like put it on and then, you know, dial it in and stuff like that. But I tried cranking the shutter. I'll probably crank the shutter once in a while, but I'll try my best to actually use this and try to have a proper shutter speed whenever I shoot video and I do have um, sets of uh, Peter McKinnon ND filters but when I'm traveling I, I'm just gonna be okay with this one this one does 1 to 8.5 stops I believe so yeah this is gonna be just fine shove it in here and the third one is a uh, must because obviously I'm not gonna be taking a whole bunch of step up rings because I just need this and I reviewed this before it's like a I don't know what it's even called it's a product by HNY um, this is basically a variable step up ring where you can have different kind of filter sizes and you can just adjust it and just snap onto your lenses uh, this one particular has a 67 millimeter in the front so what I can do is I can just put on my pro mist filter which is 67 millimeter or variable ND filter, which is 67 millimeter. And all my lenses that I'm taking falls under the range of 46 to 62 millimeter. So basically any lens that I'm taking, I can just adjust it like this and then let it go. It will snap onto the lens. So this thing is good in a sense where you can, you don't have to take whole bunch of step up rings but also it comes off very quickly if I just twist the edges instead of just you know screwing on every single filter so this thing goes in this little pocket or this pouch that they provided and then it goes right in here and if you guys want to see the review I did I'll probably link it somewhere here so that's it for the filter the third one is a microphone. This is the Rode Video Micro, I believe. Yes, um, I know there's a new version to it, but I didn't really need anything better than this, or I didn't really see a reason to upgrade to the newer version of this. This thing has been serving me for, I think, three years, fine, with a dead cat, and I'll shove it in the top. So this is the DJI wireless microphone. This is basically a backup of the video micro that I'm taking. But if I'm gonna be making a content and I need like a microphone just to get what I'm saying, just like just like right now, I'll probably use this. And it's a small enough where I can just take it. So this thing goes right in the middle. So this one, I don't know if I'm ever going to be using this, but this is the Fuji uh, Flash. So I got this when I bought the X-T3. Um, it's a small flash. I tried a couple times. It's not that bad. It actually does have a pretty soft light. So I'm just gonna take this just in case I need any flash photography or whatever. And it's small enough, I can just shove it into somewhere and forget about it. And not so interesting, the puff puff, the air blower, whatever, just to clean my camera. This I just basically shove in everywhere because it's, you know, shove inable. So this thing goes over there. And this is a very useful tool if you're planning on vlogging with your Fuji X-T5 or X-T3 because X-T5, X-T3 and previous other versions, it does not have a flip out screen. So when you're trying to view yourself, you can't really see what you're shooting. 
This is a mirror that reflects your LCD when it's flipped up like this. It will reflect the image from the LCD and you'll be able to see it when you're vlogging. Um, I also did make a um, video out of this, so if you guys are interested, just uh, take a look at it. Shove it in the side, like this. Like I said, this thing can take a lot of stuff. And I put it, close it down, all ready to go. A um, couple more things that I want to talk about. This is a Mantis tripod by TGY Tech. First, I didn't really, you know, think, oh, why is everybody going all crazy about this little, you know, tripod? But once you use it, this is so useful and sturdy. Um, especially if you're like vlogging, this thing is a godsend. Like there's so much features into it. Like, you know, like one will think like, oh, how can a tripod be that interesting? But this is very nice tripod for like vlogging and stuff. So this definitely I take with my backpack basically on the side like this. And last but not least, this is a small tripod by I don't even know the name because it doesn't really have a branding. It's Dolico. Well, what is it? Dolica. It's just a small aluminum tripod. I don't really know if I'm ever going to be using this that much, but I don't really take this on my backpack. I just put it in the luggage that I'm going to be sending in the airplane. So that goes into my carry on or whatever. So that is it for what's in my camera bag. I literally going to take this as is and get on the plane. Definitely good backpack. I tried to keep it minimal. I know it's a lot of stuff. So I used to take around like two bodies with full frame lenses and everything, but it wasn't just really worth it for me um, in the long run. You know, I actually hurt my back and stuff like that. So this will do. So that's it for me today. Hopefully you guys like my content. If you guys are traveling, uh, have a safe trip. And if you guys like my video, please give me a like. Subscribe if you guys want to see more content related to camera gear or anything like, you know. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If I can do it. Everything just... <laughs>